Rick Fields for Cascade Sports. Who do we have here? Uh, head coach Brett Moore. Uh, Mr. Moore, I mean Coach Moore, tell me a little about your, your history. Um, this is my seventh season coaching varsity, eighth overall. Um, we have had pretty good success, you know, one city championship, wish we had more, but we this is our third district finals appearance. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this will be the one that sends us to the region. Um, overall record for me, I am um, currently three wins away from my 100th victory as a coach. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I... Congratulations. And my biggest thing is just making sure that guys get an opportunity to play at the next level. The ones who are worthy of playing at the next level get that opportunity to educate themselves at a free or discounted rate. <laughs> okay. Tell me a little about y'all. Did you play uh, high school or college yes, ball? Yes, I played high school basketball at West Technical High School. Mm -hmm. um, the now defunct East West Technical High School is closed now, mm -hmm. so all my records still stand. Um, I played collegially at Walsh University in North Canton, Ohio. Walsh, okay. Coach, tell me a little about your team this year. Um, young team, young team, and uh, and a few newcomers. We took our bumps early, but I think these guys have settled into roles and accepted them. And when it, once they started to accept their roles, we started being a lot more successful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I was asking uh, your assistant coach about how how um, is seeded in. Um, the tournaments in Ohio, and um, I know um, Northeast Ohio got a pretty good basketball. Tell me a little about the the competition in Northeast Ohio. Um, the competition is pretty thick. I think um, the toughest district, in my opinion, is the Solon District, mm -hmm. which we used to be a part of before we moved down to Division Two, but they put us out here, and I think it's to our benefit because we. I, I don't think that the teams out here. Although they come in with good records, don't see the type of athletes that we bring. Mm -hmm. So I think that our team, many cases, gets, they, they get, they, we're underrated when we come in. You right. know, I know for a fact that we were higher than three, than the five seed. Y'all seeded five? We seeded right. number five. And, and what was brush seeded? Number three. Number three, okay. But um, I knew for a fact that we were better than the five seed, but, you know, the seeding doesn't mean anything because you still have to win these games. Okay, now, um... They got four teams left in Solon, and y'all will probably be going against them guys if y'all advance. You know anything about those four teams? Uh, uh, Cleveland Heights, Shaggy Heights, St. Ignatius, that, and... Uh, I just know that they're historically good, and, you know, they're, but I, one thing I will say, they have to worry about us just as much as we have to worry about them. <laughs> so, I know that's right. You're not your average senator. Mm -hmm. um, we was reading in the PD coming here, and you have uh, two prolific scores on your team. Uh, uh, Free, John L. Free, and what's John the other one's name? Kyle Taylor. Toya, tell me a little about those guys. Um, KT has been the best player on our team since he was a freshman. Mm -hmm. It took him two and a half years to figure out that he was the best player on our team. Oh yeah, okay. But now he's he's embraced the role and he's not shying away from the competition and he's really stepped up. He is he got voted to his second plain dealer. Player of the week. Um, player of the week. Okay. And they, they don't they don't normally do that. But right. the first two games of this tournament he had outstanding games. He had thirty one, he followed up with thirty five. John Nell is just a prolific scorer. Yeah. He can just he can put the ball in the hole. Okay. And the thing about I love about those guys is that they're both gym rats, but and they're always looking to improve. Mm -hmm. Um John Nell, you know, came to he kinda of fell on our fell on our lap. He came last year and he was trying out. I told him he came the last day of tryouts and I saw him one day and was like, hey, you got to play varsity, man. He was that yeah, good. So right. he ended up starting as a sophomore. Him and KT started as sophomores at various points of the season. But right. I love those guys. Definitely. Okay, well, I wish I could have talked to KT. I think he was probably gone. But um, Cascade Sports wants to thank you guys, H Tech, for giving us a chance to interview you guys. And um, our motto is um, we want to bridge the gap between sports and education and it's very important that the kids you know get this exposure so uh, thanks a lot and um, congratulations on your win and we found you guys on the rest of the tournament thank you appreciate it. rick fields for cascade sports